Imagine opening your front door this morning and getting smacked in the face by a stench. A smell often descends on this Evanston neighborhood. And the Morning Insiders, Morning Insiders Lauren Victory takes you inside their fight against fumes. It's a quiet but growing pocket of Evanston near the city's west end. As younger families move in, so does a feeling of camaraderie. Once we started sending some community-wide emails, it was something that we realized was a greater problem. A problem that's hard to illustrate on your screen. Worried parents began to bond over a stench that permeates this neighborhood. You leave your house and you're hit with a very strong asphalt chemical smell. I'll pet the dogs and I'll smell it on my hands. I can smell it in the front yard when I come home from work and it's really bad. Okay, so this is my this is my back gate. Mike Bowles shows us how close the source is, a factory called Tape Coat Company. His complaints about the asphalt smell initially fell flat. Cook County inspectors found no odors on multiple visits. This kind of gave me a lesson in, um, you know, kind of don't take no for an answer. So Bowles flagged down the attention of the Illinois Environmental Protection Agency. CBS2 got a hold of a Bureau of Air investigation report from February, where representatives from Tape Coat acknowledged these odor issues. By April, an email between Tape Coat's parent company, Chase Corporation, Evanston leaders, and the Illinois EPA details possible solutions. Neighbors noticed a change this spring. And what they've tried is basically to spray what smells like Febreze into the air with the exhaust. It's not really fixing the problem. It's just making two smells instead of one smell. So families kept pressing and started to track asphalt smells on this community log, more than 100 entries between May and November. Finally, six months after the state inspection, Tape Coat was hit with an air pollution violation. The notice specifically mentions numerous citizen complaints. While Chase Corporation refused our requests for an on-camera interview, they did write me back a pretty interesting email. The CEO said if exhaustive and costly efforts don't work in the next six months, we will halt production of the product at this location. Wow. Yeah, that would be that would be great. Is it a sort of you'll believe it when you see it at this point? Absolutely. In Evanston, Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News. Evanston's health director tells Lauren that no one has tested the air yet, but the city will follow the direction of the state. Illinois' EPA calls Tape Coat's odor situation an ongoing enforcement issue, and the attorney general could take on the case if the EPA ultimately determines that Tape Coat isn't trying hard enough to get rid of the stink.